Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to calculate if an air conditioning system is delivering the correct airflow. The tools we will need are a digital thermometer and a digital humidity tester. If you don't have either of these, visit our website and you can have one delivered that will perform both functions for $19.99. If you have a super cool tool, get it out and open it up to the test for correct system airflow AC. You'll find that in the upper left hand corner. If you don't have one, that's fine. We'll walk you through it without it. Now measure your indoor dry bulb and humidity. Once you have these calculations, calculate your wet bulb by using the wet bulb conversion table located on the outer cover. Okay, find the indoor dry bulb temperature and the indoor wet bulb temperature. Find where these two correspond. At the intersection of those is the required supply air temperature. If the actual tested temperature exiting the unit is more than three degrees higher than this, you could have several problems. The most common problems are one, low refrigerant, two, a weak compressor, three, a restricted metering device or a bad TXV, four, a leak in the return ductwork, or five, an oversized furnace or air handler. Now, if the measured temperature is more than three degrees colder than this, the most common problems are one, a dirty filter, two, a dirty coil, three, the fan is on too low of a speed, move, it to a, move the fan control to a higher speed, four, too many registers or supply ducts are closed, we'll go open those, five, the duct system is too small for the system, six, the furnace or the air handler is too small, and seven, the coil is too small for the condensing unit. This concludes our tutorial on testing for correct system airflow AC. Now stand by and watch a very brief uh, video on the super cool tool, best tool in the air conditioning industry. Thank you. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.